we're not really way back. If you look at it uh, in terms of uh, uh, the progress the rest of the world have made, we're not far behind. When you think that all this so-called democracy, all this liberation, all this independence is only 20, 30 years old at most. You know, there's very little difference. There was a very little difference between England and many places in Africa in the 60s. I lived in England, and I know, I know what I'm talking about. There was very little difference. However, the more doors you open for people to have opportunity, for more people to be respected on an individual basis, the more adoration exists between, within the members of the family, within, with, within the members of the community. This continuous xenophobia everywhere, you know, I live in Cape Town, South Africa, it's very xenophobic. I come to Kenya, Nairobi, it's xenophobic, you know. There is plenty, that is enough for all of us. But we must respect the individual for what the individual is, and not respect where they come from. You know, where people would say, we, it's, we must ennoble the person, the individual, and the liberties they make, the democracy that, you know, that they must enjoy. We're not doing that. Why? Because Our traditions, our traditions do not have enough room for change. We can change our trousers, we can change our, the clothes that we wear. We may have the most sophisticated iPod, iPhone, i this and i that. But we haven't progressed in the last two, three hundred years. We're still where we were two hundred years ago. And I'm saying, well, let's wake up. The rest of the world has woken up. Let's wake up. Feminism is a contemporary thing for some of us. 1974, if you were in New York or in London or, or in, uh, you know, uh, Zurich, you heard the same story. What happened to us? Why? Where were we when they were doing this? Where were we? The conflicts that are taking place in Africa now, many of the conflicts, should have taken place 200 years ago. You know, we should have sorted out these ethnic differences. We should have known how to coexist, how to live together, how to, you know, uh, but we, are, we haven't done it. We haven't done it, and the reason is because somebody says uh, female circumcision is a cultural thing and we cannot change cultural thing. But you have changed cultural thing by taking iPhones by you know, doing all this. So why can't you change uh, some, of the, some of the other things? Why can't you, for example, change the, uh, the, the fact that, uh, you, know, uh, you know, in this day and age, for there to be tension in Kenya, I'm leaving to after tomorrow, in Kenya, <laughs> about, about the question of ethnicity, because somebody, won or lost, and therefore, you know, everything is seen through that prism and, and for in, in the 21st century, when the country has been independent for 60 years. Is it 60 or less? I don't know. I can't. 